There you go. Is it on? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Is it working? Testing, testing. Is it working? There. Okay. All right. Hey guys. Hey. I'm Taven. I'm Amanda. And this is Fuck It Friday here at the Quirky Lotus. Yeah. It's a little late, but this is one of those days. Well, no excuses. I'm not apologizing. We have sat our asses on this couch. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we've done some other things, but for the most part, we've sat on this couch. Not really done anything. <laughs> I took a kid to rest. Oh, I did go to an appointment. See? I did go, yeah. Okay. It counts. <sighs> so, um, today I think we're going to talk about, because we were talking about right before we started the video, mm -hmm. and then um, we thought we had a customer. Um, 2020 energies because some people are really struggling and some people shit doesn't stink. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we were having a conversation earlier um, just about 2020, how everybody felt like 2020 was going to be just this magical great year. You know, we get past the lunar eclipses and we move into an energy that just kind of clears away the bullshit and we really get into like the easy part right yeah well and then what i read was like this is the year of discovering your true self mm -hmm. or getting back to your true self the year of not making excuses year for radical honesty i've heard that three times after you said that my new um, okay so my new year's resolution like whatever i don't make one until midway through january um, just cause I, I, I you just don't, don't follow rules. I don't follow <laughs> rules. So I don't make one, but when I finally decided on it, it was radical honesty to really embrace the concept of radical honesty. It's going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going, I find myself backtracking and, and, and making correct radical honest statements after I've made the traditional accepted statement. Right. Got you. Yeah. 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 Okay. That was a lot of words. Um, totally irrelevant to this. <laughs> anyway, so Amanda was talking about, you know, well, it's just been, there's just been roughness, and everybody knows. Had... Well, Nick had, I told him that yesterday sucked, and then he replied, oh, yeah, yeah, this whole year has sucked so far. Yeah. That's what got it started. Yeah. And I was like, mine hasn't. <laughs> but, so, I have, <laughs> I saw that. I seeked it. I seeked it. <laughs> so, we wanted to talk a little bit just about what, um, you know, speaking of numerology, astrologically, um, cosmically, cosmically um, you know, whatever, whatever, all the lees. We <laughs> wanted to talk about what 2020's energy kind of, you know, the, the kind of whatever. What What's to expect. What, what it really expect. is. So you're reading and you're hearing all these things and people's tell, people's, people's, people's is telling you. People's is telling. Um, certain things. And wait, how you explained it to me earlier made sense. Yeah. Okay. So 2020 in numerologically, I'm struggling with numerologically numer with numbers with the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it is um, a 22 year, or it is a four year, just depending on how you break it down. So um, 22 is the master builder number, right? So if um, it's it's the building. It's the it's the making the bridges. bridges it's, yeah. it's it's all these things, and then you break down four, and it's focused on your true life purpose, and it's you know get real and shit or get off the pot. You know, mm -hmm. like really, shit or get out of the outhouse because it's gonna be blown over. You know, <laughs> but um, so twenty twenty shit talk today. Oh, this shit, this shit, shit. <laughs> anyway, um, so twenty twenty is on track to be just a magical, massively, you know, like bridging, beautiful year. But to get there, we have to. What'd you say? Shed what doesn't. Shed what work. is not in line with yes, your highest. That's, it. Good. that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Um. So so. When they say it's going to be a hard year, or, or you're going to be discovering your true self or whatever, mm -hmm. so something's going to come along, and the what you imagined it to be, mm -hmm. what you wanted it to be, what mm -hmm. you're told it would be, is all going to come crashing down, mm -hmm. but it's not really crashing down. It's yes. your percepti perception, perception of it crashing down. Really, it needs to go away, whatever. It needs mm -hmm. to um, collapse in order for you mm -hmm. to be able to 
move on to what's supposed to be for your highest good. Yes, to step in line with your highest good. That mm -hmm. was beautiful. So not really. <laughs> so if it comes crashing down, it's because it wasn't meant to be. You need to, to let be. it go. You need it to let it go. It wasn't meant to be. It's not so, part of your soul. Right, because that's kind of what got us started. Because I was like, you know, 2020 has been a really decent year for me. <laughs> it's not... I was trying to downplay it. You see that? Radical honesty. 2020 has been great for me. Like, so far. I'm, I'm in a good space. Emotionally, I've been through a lot of roller coasters already. And it's, you know, this the first month. So there's emotionally been a lot of this kind of number. The minute that I let go of it, the minute that I don't try to control all the emotions and, and make plans basically the minute I let go of the fact that I don't know shit you know like I'm just accept it then it moves into a, a more easy flowing space mm -hmm. you know so it's been learning but I'm taking what we learned in 2019 you know because 2019 completely just crashed everything you know like it, it showed where the cracks were it showed where your shit wasn't on right it showed I mean it just showed everything you know and then 2020 is supposed to kind of push you into lining with your highest good lining with I don't know why I felt the need to to do this um, but, um, it's it's really um, energetically um, supportive of, of you truly stepping into your highest good your soul purpose what you're meant to do so when you are at Ingalls and you're supposed to be at Bilo then you know you're supposed to be at Ingalls for a reason yeah like you know so mm -hmm. you you have to kind of accept the I have no idea where that came from either was really weird. Maybe can I go grocery shopping? I don't know. I do have to go grocery shopping. <laughs> but, you know, like we have to learn to let go of it. So if we look at this and say, well, this is happening and this person isn't my friend anymore and this person is having issues and this and this and this. If we focus on the issues, then we're going to see it as our world is crumbling. If we focus on the fact of, oh, well, that didn't work out. So I need to let that go. This doesn't make me happy so I need to release it all these things if we really focus on allowing for our energies to help us align with our highest good then we can move into a space where we're really in I don't know what that is that's not a I don't I, I can't even do that well I think it also a few um Thingies ago. What are these called? Fuck it Fridays ago? Yes. We talked about perspective. So I think mm -hmm. that that's part of it going into 2020. And when you think the shit hit, shit again, shit's hit the fan or stuff has blown up your outhouse, whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's perspective. If you just yeah. change your perspective and yeah. like, no, 2020 is supposed to be about me. Um, Lining up with what I'm supposed to, to do. do and what's best for me, my mm -hmm. highest good, blah, 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 blah. So this was supposed to happen. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And I think, it, I think at that point you really have to have a certain level of trust in your higher self, your over self, the universe, God, God. all the Buddha spirit, whatever you want to put in Donuts. there. Donuts, Rasta, spaghetti monsters. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like, <laughs> I have faith in donuts. I do. I have a lot of faith in donuts. I actually want a donut now. Um. But it, you have to put faith in something that is kind of outside of our meat suit, right? Mm -hmm. We have to say, yes, there's a bigger picture. It's not just about each individual kind of cog at this point. It's really about building those bridges and connecting with the people and the tribes around you and accepting the fact that we all have a huge undertaking to do and if we don't step into our authentic self and our truth then uh, you know of course the world's going to look like it's crashing because yeah. we're not doing what we're supposed, supposed to, to be do. doing mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah. that was a <laughs> lot of work we both <laughs> yeah that's a lot of work all right <laughs> so that is our take on 2020 so we encourage you if you are sitting in a space where you're just like man shit's crashing around you kind of giggle about it and laugh about it and really accept the fact that you know things are kind of flowing and if they're coming to the surface it's almost like peroxide like mm -hmm. if we pour peroxide on a, a wound a wound thank you <laughs> <laughs> like if we pour it on a thing um then it bubbles out the crap that's not supposed to be there mm -hmm. right yeah. so if these moments are happening for you really focus on the release focus on the refocus of the highest good right your sole purpose and maybe you're losing that job so you can step into the next space maybe you are losing that friend so that somebody who can support you in the best way is stepping into that space i don't know just mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 
Um, I was like, mm-hmm, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, we're gonna say, oh, and I also say go out in nature. I feel yeah. like I've talked to a few, like several different people over mm-hmm. the past two days, and um, both of, well, both of them, three people, three people were like, I just I just need to go for a hike, or I just need to go for a walk, or whatever. So. For whatever reason, that keeps popping up. Mm-hmm. Well, so nature just go outside. Just nature doesn't outside. give a shit. Like, right? Nature's not on a calendar of being like, well, it's January in South Carolina, and I've not snowed yet. It doesn't give a shit. Mm. Like, it's gonna wait until the frequencies and the energies align for whatever that is meant to happen to happen. So mm. when we submerse ourselves in the energy like that, it cleanses all the crap we don't need, and it and it puts us back to like a zero point, you know, mm. where we need to be. So yeah, nature is huge. Yeah, I say could just go sit and like right now it's so windy. Just sit there and watch leaves mm-hmm. blow. Let it blow, or watch water. I don't know, but I just pictured Fabio. What was <laughs> that? The butter? Kind of the stuck butter. The shirts all yeah. open. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's our take on 2020. Um, that's um, are we pulling cards now? Yes. Um, so side note, we have an amazing lineup of classes happening at the Corky Lotus. We have a drum circle tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's going to be beautiful. That's the best class we have it's, because it's, Lori is the best she, person gosh, ever. She's so phenomenal. <laughs> Um, so, um, we have drum circles and we have some February classes will be posted in the next, over the weekend, we'll post the February classes. Um, so check those out. Um, oh, and what is that one? Oh, Ah. Leap of faith, take a risk, and put your heart's true desire into action. I'm about to put this one back because I don't want it. <laughs> So mine is uh, Cordelia, Cordelia, um, and it is go outside. She you, looks wicked. She does. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and oh, get some fresh air. So how's that for? All right, you want to All right, this? so now for all of you, our customers, viewers, supporters, whatever. Um, mm. Say it. Segment. 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 Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome. Mm. Be strong. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and go yeah, enjoy it. your fucking Friday. Go enjoy it's your Friday, Friday, so just fuck it. Go enjoy it. Go enjoy it. Yep. Go enjoy it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.